<sighs> it feels so good to be back here at YouTube. Anyways, greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And some things have changed that have been bothering me lately. One, that YouTube has completely changed its format. I've noticed a little change, but not a whole lot. But it's just coming at me all at once. It's not bad, but why? And then you got Facebook. Why Facebook? Why must you do well, your good old Evelina Malley such a disservice? And then finally, one of the biggest frustrations that have come to my mind is the bloody Boston Bomber on the Rolling Stones Hall. That my whole thing, I guess I shouldn't say that. Magazine. <laughs> and I'm just going to state my personal opinion since I know nothing about the Rolling Stones publication other than what I've been hearing from other people on the internet and here on YouTube. But, ugh. Like, why? I mean,. First, I hear that this kid has a following of little girls who do anything, just anything, to be within five freaking feet, within just a hundred feet of him, let alone uh, have a conversation or be in his direct vicinity. I mean, And now, now he has a, has a cover that, you know, actually, it's not as bad as his little, you know, followers. I just can't get enough of him. And I guess we really shouldn't be shocked. But, I am. I am, because I'm sorry. I've been hearing from both camps. Some people, well, no, actually... I haven't been hearing from anyone who defends and so hard at all. I've been hearing more from people who are saying, how can we glorify something that's evil and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I've also heard some people say, you know what, why is this a shock at all? I mean, come on, we knew this was probably going to happen, at least that part anyways. Frankly... My personal opinion is, who the fuck cares anymore? I mean, I guess it shouldn't be shocking at all in our culture, because when you think about it, the things that were evil nowadays are actually quite glorified. I mean, back in the 50s, it was probably considered, and to uh, defiant behavior if you ever cut school. Nowadays, they applaud you for cutting school. It's like, you are awesome, man! Huh? But maybe it's because in our society, we kind of now reward bad behavior because, let's put it this way, everyone is a good person nowadays. Everyone is an innocent. So, what the S? You know? And it's not saying, oh, I want to go back to the days where just because you're a human being, you should be punished for all your sins and your blah, 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 blah. I just don't think it's good, okay? But at the same time, I still don't think Zocar should be on the magazine. I don't think we should 
be saying in our media that this is a good example, kids. This is who you should become. This is what you should be more like. No. No. What we should be motivating is be yourself. We're not saying, yeah, go be yourself and, you know, become a Boston, become the next Boston bomber. No. Be yourself as in, don't follow the herd. Which sometimes, in some cases, is not a good thing for you to do. In some cases it is. You know, it's ironic, but sometimes following the herd never hurt. But sometimes you just gotta be able to watch out. However, I hate to break it to you girls, this isn't Justin Bieber, okay? Where, you know, okay, we think he's obnoxious and completely stupid, but he's not doing anything harmful. But, this guy bombed and killed many good thousands of people. This is not a potential boyfriend. I don't care who you are. Do not marry this guy in any way, shape, or form. I don't care. Don't. And if you suspect he's... Let's put it this way. If you are in a current relationship now, and your boyfriend is exhibiting any bizarre behavior, or such as this, get out. Just get out. You don't need to be going to jail with him. It does not mean love, it's not romantic, and no, I have not been in jail with anyone, and out of love and stuff, I've never done that before, but you know something? There's no man on this planet that I would do that for yet. I might come visit him in jail, because, well, if mom and dad aren't looking his way, someone's gotta look his way. However, it's just insanity. I'm sorry. It's just uh, God awful insanity. Okay? I just don't understand this. I mean, Rolling Stone's fine. William Hazard's stupid thing. But I don't think he should be on the I don't think he should be on the cover at all. And I think they should have been a little bit more careful about how, how they betrayed the idiot. You know, I hate to break it to you, but this is not the 60s and 70s anymore, where, yeah, let's put him in a John Lennon outfit and try and make him look all, you know, look at him, you know. And I don't like, I've been, I think I watched uh, Mr. Repsion's video last night about this, how they were trying to make him come off as sympathetic on little taglines. I didn't read it, but I wish I could have read the article. Because I do believe he might have had a bad life. And it's very true that he could just be, you know, a very unlucky young man. However, he bombed a whole group of people. So, I don't care. Anyways. This is Evelina Malley. Telling you to follow me on my twin Twimble. Where yeah, Twitter and Tumblr. And tomorrow I think I shall have my no, Saturday I will have my story out to you people. And please click the subscribe button to follow me. Okay. And like this video, share it. And, and any way that you deem or feel is possible. Oh. Oh. And have a great night. Or a great morning. <laughs> Bye. Bye.